Coming up in ViewCast, hear why our Senior Day speaker is so excited about the digital revolution. See what an engineering undergrad is doing to improve children's apps. And how Vanderbilt is partnering with Tennessee. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Do you feel it? Commencement season is in the air. Tents and chairs are going up, strawberries are being prepped, and speakers are getting ready to inspire. This year's Senior Day speaker is former CEO of CNN, former editor of Time Magazine, and president of the Aspen Institute, Walter Isaacson. Isaacson recently wrote the book, The Innovators, how a group of inventors, hackers, geniuses, and geeks created the digital revolution. What made them succeed? What traits did it take? And so I wanted to give real concrete storytelling meaning to what does it mean to be an innovator. There's a lot more on our senior day, party, and commencement extravaganza on vanderbilt.edu slash commencement. Share your favorite Vanderbilt memories all over social media using hashtag myVanderbilt and hashtag VU2015. A computer engineering senior has spent his final year at Vanderbilt working with some fellow computer lovers under the age of three. See how Nolan Smith is teaming up with Vanderbilt education researchers to help the youngest learners. Drag the cow. Two and a half year old Nyla is doing what so many kids love, playing on a touch screen. Great job. In our household, we really embrace technology. But is all that tapping and swiping helping Nyla learn? As soon as we get new technology coming out, children's media industry is one of the first to jump on that technology. The kind of interaction is key. Isn't this one neat? People who are designing apps without really knowing children's thinking, they might do something because it's cool looking or because it's easy or whatever. So we want to look at what types of interactions are helpful for children's learning. Such as do kids respond better to tapping, swiping, or swiping with sound effects? We're lucky that we're researching a field that has an immediate impact on children's learning and lives. These Vanderbilt researchers are using the programming talent of an engineering undergrad to make their research reality. I'm really excited to analyze it. Computer science major Nolan Smith built a children's app from scratch. Like when I saw what they were using already, that was like more motivation kind of to like want to, to help them because it was just like these are such easy problems for computers to solve. The kids love it first of all because it really does feel more like an actual app. What's special about this app, it can also collect research data. Manually counting each and every tap that the child did and it was such a tedious process and Nolan chuckled when he heard that we were doing this and he's like, I can design an app that will actually count how many times a child interacts with it. It has been a labor of love for both sides. I had to think of, you know, if I was um, a child, you know, or if I was one of these toddlers that was playing this. And he has been through so many different versions of this app to get it to be exactly where we are now, and he has never once seemed impatient or bothered by it or discouraged. Russo is now testing the app with children. It feels really cool. I mean, I got to watch something that, that I made be interacted with, so yeah, it was rewarding. It was really cool to see that. This trans-institutional collaboration is a win-win. And, uh, you know, Nolan knows a lot more now about child development than um, most of his colleagues in engineering. A collaboration making a difference in the future of educational apps. I got pretty lucky uh, to be able to do this. This kind of collaboration is like the reason why Vanderbilt was so great. Great job. Nolan already has a great programming job lined up after commencement with a little company called Microsoft. See a list of children's apps our researchers like best on vanderbilt.edu search learning apps. We here at Vanderbilt are proud to call Nashville and Tennessee home. And we're proud to be a vital partner in Tennessee's economy. Vanderbilt University impacts Tennessee and the world through innovation, education, and discovery. Whether it's finding novel ways to fight a deadly disease-carrying pest, the mosquito. People believe uh, a child will die every 30 seconds, like multiple 747s crashing every day. 
or discovering children with autism live in a world where what they see is out of sync with what they hear. They don't know which pieces of the visual world should be bound with which pieces of the auditory world. Vanderbilt researchers are making a difference. Combine that with our employees, students, visitors, jobs, and construction projects, and you get an economic impact of $8.9 billion for fiscal year 2013-2014. As Middle Tennessee's largest private employer and the state's second largest private employer, those billions of dollars resulted in almost 62,000 total jobs and more than $3.5 billion earned in labor income. Vanderbilt is honored to be a part of one of the country's most vibrant cities, and we will continue working each day to make a vital difference for all Tennesseans. Learn more vital stats about Vanderbilt on our homepage. Search Vital Stats. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.